Good evening, everyone. I'm Professor Rahi Gudda from Ebenezer Management College, and I thank you all for joining us today for Student Engagement Program webinar. Before I begin, a few reminders. Please make sure your mic is turned off so there would be no noise disturbing the session. And secondly, in case of any doubts, please note them down. We will sure have a Q&A session and your questions will be answered there. I welcome our new students to, to today's webinar. To one and all present here, Lofi Sir, CEO, Neetu Ma'am, Admissions Director, our Principal, Ranjit Sir, Thank Vice you. Principal, Shashi Rekha Ma'am, and all the teaching and non-teaching faculties, I welcome you all. Today we have with us Professor Bholanath Datta to enlighten us. Sir, it's an honor to have you with us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it's my pleasure to inform you all that this isn't the first time that Professor Bolada Dutt has joined us. We had a session with him before too. Yes. And uh, he was kind enough to like come and meet us here again online. So before we proceed any further, sir, uh, just allow me to introduce you to the audience today again. Okay. All just right. a small introduction. Uh, professor Bholanath Datta is an educationist, serial entrepreneur and visiting professor in India and overseas. He is a former World Bank quality assurance expert in higher education. He is an author, career counselor and business coach. Professor Bholanath is the chairman of a global entrepreneur's grid and founder president of MTC Global, a global think tank in higher education. He is a champion mentor in Startup India Initiative, Government of India, and mentor of change at Atal Innovation Mission, Atal Thinker, Tinkering Lab, Niti Ayog, Government of India. He, has, he is the author of 21 books, over 100 papers, serving in the advisory board of many organizations, B schools and universities in India and overseas. His autobiography, Making of a Teacher, The Journey Continues, got released on 31st December of 2011. It's an honor to have you with us, sir, again. So you can take your time. Yeah, thank you so much, ma'am. At the outset, uh, let me extend my heartfelt thanks and gratitude to the management, uh, principal sir, all esteemed faculty members of this Thank wonderful you, institute and uh, my dear students. So this is uh, you no know, in a series like uh, for the second time I'm connecting with all of you. And uh, the last session was indeed a very good, excellent session. There were a lot of questions in the QA session. So I expect that today also you will ask as many questions as you wish. Okay. So there is no problem. And I'm sure that you are aware of you no know, today's topic. Okay. It's very relevant. Okay. I think that's the, uh, you know, the purpose. You no, know, we all are putting so much hard work, you no know, day and night, investing so much uh, money, energy, time, whatever you say. At the end of the day, when you come out of your campus, you should get a good job okay so that's very very important now because that's the ultimate right okay we'll learn a lot of new things we'll become good human being we'll contribute to the society that's everything is fine but end of the day all of us we need a job right whatever we have learned we need to put it into practice through some role what will be offered to us in the corporate or in the government sector or in NGO, whatever sectors you choose, correct? So that's very, very important. Now, uh, before I go to the topic, which is, you no, know, we have discussed and we thought that this may be ideal topic for all of you, campus to corporate, because preparation for your corporate life, it begins with now. That's very, very important. It does not start in the fourth semester or in the final semester, whichever stream you are based on that. But from the day one, when you join the college, from that day itself, your journey starts and you have to be serious. And to this matter, Ebenezer Group has wonderful infrastructure, 
very good faculty experienced young and uh, uh, no a lot of uh, people with corporate experience i think that's a perfect uh, no faculty profile yeah you will get whenever you go to them they will support you you have dedicated placement department all other support mechanisms which an institution must have evanizer has it now how you make use of it that's very important because no your faculty members principal or management they don't need job right end of the day you need a job okay so placement job everything is a student centric activity you have to study well you have to get good marks you have to understand the concepts you have to develop your personality your soft skills or the hard skills with respect to your syllabus everything you need to develop so that you become employable and at the end you get your dream job so getting fast job is very very important now here i want to see uh, take you to some uh, insight on you know how job and uh, career these all differs and why you need to get placed from your campus or maybe you no know, within one or two months when you come out of your campus that's very very important see job many people they become very choosy right very selective okay uh, regarding their first offer if they don't get a company of their choice they reject it okay they reject it but that's fine if there is super dream options there are alternative okay companies which will be coming to your campus so there are walk in interviews or off campus whatever arrangement will be there from your institution if you get that kind of opportunities to appear for multiple companies so there will be dream super dream options wherein you can reject some companies and you can always uh, no opt for higher offer that's fine but getting a job getting your fit in the corporate world that's very very important you should not remain redundant or idle for like 6 months and 1 year when you complete your course if you want to pursue higher studies that's fantastic that's fine that's continuous you know your learning process your academic journey but if you don't want to pursue and you want to get a job in that case you must okay choose a company okay if you get as per your choice then absolutely fine nothing better than that correct but if you don't get as per your choice that time whichever company you get an opportunity you must take it up because first okay your academic experience you need to get a role you need to get a company wherein you need to understand the organization its culture the functions how it works then you have to perform in the given role and probably no if you do well if you gain some experience automatically you will build up you will have a very good network of professionals or colleagues or friends through that there are so many no reference you know employment today nowadays in it's and many companies um, no maximum uh, uh, this uh, job openings are filled through referral program correct so you will get the referral program and with your experience and expertise you will get definitely better opportunity but getting your foot in the corporate okay that's very very important and there you should be very very serious about it correct so job i am talking about job and career career is a long term planning correct your job may be something you don't get no opportunity to get into your dream company suppose someone uh, maybe you no know, wanting to uh, uh, get a job in google or microsoft or infosys correct and he or she did not get a break at the first attempt okay so nothing to worry nothing to worry in fact whichever the next companies come and wherever you get you must join that company you should not be idle or redundant that's very very important because once you get experience and exposure then definitely no if you plan for microsoft google or infosys definitely you can go to that okay 
that companies and get a very senior role okay and uh, big responsibility with uh, no fat package okay everything whatever you have you know in your mind that you can accomplish okay so there is absolutely no problem but getting a job is very very important now today you see we are talking about we are at a time when we talk about career 3.0 okay there was a time of career okay 1.0 2.0 3.0 1.0 means okay elderly people like maybe my parents or maybe your parents or grandparents okay it was a trend from around 30 40 years back okay if someone used to get a job that person used to work for that organization lifelong and get retirement or go for superannuation okay at the after completion of 60 years or 65 years correct but that trend is not there okay now career 2.0 means there was a time when people used to work for seven and ten years that kind of uh, no uh, duration someone used to work then leave that company and no go for better opportunity maybe for skill development or maybe a uh, better package or so many factors will be there when a person leaves a company okay so that's career 2.0 today we're talking about career 3.0 it's very volatile market correct people will find that today they're joining a company they're leaving after six months after one year after two years now this attrition cannot be attributed okay that people are not loyal to the company or uh, no for small hike no they are changing company and going to a different company this there are different reasons okay reasons may be the no the company culture is not good the uh, the boss immediate boss is not very supportive maybe uh, the job profile is very boring and you want to learn some new skill sets you look out for or maybe the promotional and growth are not there because today we have that kind of scenario wherein there are so many companies there are different role okay the huge potential is uh, there in the market that was not there before okay so that's the reason so today okay in 3.0 career 3.0 what is very much essential for you is that you need to be very very smart you need to be very very sharp okay and uh, no, no experts in your domain that's very very important because today no the concept of benching okay is no more benching means when you get placed in a company you will be given one month training or 15 days training then you will be put on on the job okay it's today companies they expect from day one okay day one skill like so most of the skills you must learn during your you know program during your course okay so that if you go to the company just maybe one hour orientation that's it you should be able to perform and then learn on the job learning okay on the job new new skills and training there will be okay training and development programs uh, that will be there around the year so you can pick a lot of new things and leave new skill sets that's fine so this is career 3.0 it's highly volatile it's very challenging it's very demanding and at the same time there is huge possibilities okay there is a world of opportunities with so many companies and especially today we are connected throughout the world okay correct so job market is not limited to india okay so many people are working for for mnc companies no based at bangalore or maybe some other cities so we are connected over the ne internet and whole world is a single unit correct market for all of us provided provided what is very important is that we should have the skill sets we should have the right attitude right mindset we should learn whichever program so that's also very very important you may be from different disciplines does not matter in each discipline today has unique opportunities correct very good career growth okay you can't say uh, or no one can say that someone from science or engineering or commerce or arts okay you cannot differentiate the career today because each disciplines they have their 
unique features they have their own potential correct and great demand in the corporate provided you have the mastery in your area and you develop the skill sets so that is very very important that's about career 3.0 career 1.0 2.0 career 3.0 the difference between job and career job is whatever you get a chance you take it up okay for gaining some experience or having your you know a foot in the corporate world so good so that that's that is absolutely fine but career means your long-term vision which company you want to work what you want to become in your life cmd ceo of a company vice president hr okay or cfo whatever is your dream okay that you must attain and that needs a planning okay career development career enhancement lot of skills you need to upgrade during your journey so that's very very important and what is very important in the introductory part itself i would like to say that you no know, like your journey for uh, you no know, corporate world it does not begin at the end of your academic program it goes hand in hand with your academic program the time you join your academic program ug or puc that day onwards it starts okay the preparation starts that's very very important for you no know, all of us to understand now i'll just uh, you no know, make a small presentation okay so that uh, it will be you know very very structured let me just uh, so the slide please uh, one minute okay okay so this is uh, typically i made a uh, powerpoint presentations so that we can have the focus and you can also note it down some of the points probably in the question and succession no we can uh, interact okay based on you no know, uh, what kind of questions you want to raise now this is your career okay your career i told you briefly the difference between the difference between job and career how these two things are different correct now uh, i did not mention i mentioned that you can go for higher studies okay after completion your program you can join corporate world many people they may like to become entrepreneur start their own enterprise that is also one kind of career correct many may like to pursue their hobbies photography is music dance whatever it is they are also you can build your career if you develop the expertise there is no end today okay if you are good at something you can do miracle we are here okay our present see we need to we have nothing to say okay in which family you have taken birth but all of us can design our future a life not by default but by designing okay so past all of us have a past where you have taken birth the family the place the society everything is there past gives us experience gives us lot of learnings correct now based on all those we are here at the present now at the present how much hard work we do how much efforts we take okay that builds our future now what dreams we have what we want to become in our life in the future okay so everything we need to start right now if you want to become ceo of a company or you want to become an entrepreneur for everything the right time is at present we need to build otherwise there is no point when you move to the future to look back and repent that we did not give our best okay 
so there is nothing to repent okay feel sorry about it we have to work okay we have to put our best efforts develop the skill sets learn the concept so that we can create our own future our own future whatever dreams we have okay in our mind we must realize that in this lifetime only and all of us can do that all of us can do that see the set of people okay how these people okay from zero they built okay an empire they became billionaire see rajnikanth bill gates dhirubhai ambani sachin tendulkar ar rahman sarukh khan there are leone messi abraham lincoln see fantastic examples and there are so many hundreds and thousands of examples of you no know, today's stars okay they one day they all were zero with their hard work dedication efforts okay they could build up what they wanted to become in their lifetime and they all are successful and they all are great source of motivation for for all of us for all of us they are the great source of motivation so if they can do it i'm sure that each one of us each one of us also can do that only thing is need consistency passion hard work dedication correct so these are the certain qualities if we possess then definitely one day we can also become a person which others know would recognize yes so and so has put lot of hard works and today he has become ceo of a company or he has built a successful enterprise isn't it okay that is very very important read their life struggle okay read their struggle i'm sure all of you must be knowing about it but knowing and uh, no but putting those i uh, know principles okay in our own life is too different okay all of us know about these people but how much hard work you know they put the struggle they undergone in their lifetime that we want to take it up okay we we want uh, no an easy path shortcut path to success but there is no shortcut to success okay there is no shortcut if it is shortcut then it will be temporary okay then again okay that will be a big flop so everyone should start working hard to fulfill his or her dreams from today itself otherwise some day someone will put you in work to fulfill his or her dreams see that's very very important that there is no substitute for hard work now when you talk about career career or success okay it has different meanings to different individuals correct for someone may be getting a good job as i said for someone may be higher studies doing research program going abroad okay being a research scholar or, or getting into teaching profession someone wants to join family business someone wants to you know uh, pursue their hobby okay and make it a profession okay so there may be so many different ways but everything that's what what is success whatever we think in our mind we want to become if we can you know achieve that that itself becomes success now definitely success means we should be able to create wealth but many a time okay wealth itself does not uh, no define success that's what we say the professional success and personal success that means in personal life also you should be successful there should not be stress there should not be health wise you should be good so all these factors you should be able to take it into account so that you can have holistic okay development i think that is very very important now why this program why we have crafted this particular program to guide an individual to prove his metal make them ready for the industry by understanding the industry needs i have spoken on this transformation of the students from the day one necessity is the 
mother of invention. Okay, the need. Okay, so this is a, is a very well crafted program. Okay, transition, sense of achievement, making it up to company, regular income and newfound freedom, new environment. Transition means when someone moves from college or campus, academic campus to corporate, what kind of transition he or she can experience. Okay, sense of achievement. Yeah. I have completed my degree or UG or master's program. Now I'm going to corporate to pursue my career Okay, in the corporate. So that sense of achievement, making it up to a company. If you get your dream company, that's absolutely fine. Regular income and newfound freedom. You get regular income, isn't it? And that's another kind of freedom. You have money. Okay, you have a lot of freedoms to do, which uh, no, maybe at present, uh, you can't do that new environment okay professional new work environment new culture new friends new learning change of locations if you don't get a job in bangalore maybe you need to travel to pune or some other jaipur some other cities adaptation anxiety definitely see that's what we are talking about anxiety stress in the corporate because of no slogging extended working hours a lot of work pressure people generally may have stress so that's why you should have some you no know, stress buster your hobby or going for morning walk or playing or going for movie or there are so many okay the stress busters will be there it also depends on individual okay some people may like to go uh, for weekend trip uh, or go to the uh, you no know, uh, county side okay to get fresh air okay so many things okay you can work on that managing new expectations because there will be target in the corporate world if you work for each profile there will be target so you have to achieve that target that's so there will be new expectation new pressure meeting the goals elaboration of six h model honesty human values hunger hard work humility and health so all these factors we need to take into account now why we need a transformation See, so many graduates every year, they come out, around 30 lakhs. 40% 40 of the Indian population are youths, 13 to 35. 20% of technical graduates and 10 to 15% of general graduates are employable. See, there are many research conducted by CII, SOHM and different bodies. And they say that on and around maybe 20% graduates passing out from the college campus, are actually employments that means they can fit in the corporate requirement then what about the rest of the 80 percent what about that they may have academic they may qualify the exam they may have academic you know uh, credential but they don't fulfill what exactly the skill sets company is looking for in terms of hard skills aptitude reasoning technical or for science graduate programming knowledge soft skills communication team building no uh, then uh, okay uh, group dynamics okay your uh, uh, behavioral approach your attitude so many things okay so many things companies will look for okay before selecting a candidate so do you fit the bill the question comes because of that we see that again the Pareto optimality theory 80 20 principles we see that around 20 percent of the graduates are not employable uh, at all even they have uh, no 80 percent of the graduate not employable only 20 percent are employable okay so that so that means that means you no know, as i said in the beginning from the day one of your you no know, academic journey you should be very very serious sincere okay about your professional career okay so that way no it will help you that way it will mold you like in the class you will have a lot of seminar presentations you will have a lot of case studies okay everything you should be no uh, you should be able to perform or deliver or give your hundred percent because those things will help you to develop Okay, certain skill sets like team building, presentations, communications and all. Okay, so uh, that seriousness, the seriousness you must have. What you need, high level of responsibility. Okay, unconditional surrender, will to learn from everyone, Kaizen, 
continuous development right kaizen approach morality and honesty absolute patience adjustability dare to face challenges will to learn from everyone i think that's very very important learning never stops okay it's a continuous learning lot of things we learn inside the classroom there is unstructured learning outside the classroom even when you go to your uh, no hostel or the place where you stay on the way you can learn so many things by looking at the holdings different kind of advertisement while interacting with uh, no any uh, at, at, at the shop when you want to purchase something so there are so many ways we can develop and you no know, learn so many new things okay so we we should have that mindset you know that attitude i think that is very very important now this definitely you know the swot analysis every one of us every one of us we should do some kind of swot analysis strengths which are the areas we are good at weakness which are the areas we are not good at that means we need to develop opportunities and threats these are in the outside environment weakness and strengths is with the individual opportunities what kind of opportunities is there in the corporate world threats now today we are talking about artificial intelligence being a threat chat gpt is a threat like using chat gpt you can develop a program in a fraction of seconds okay now then there is a lot of pressure on the developers okay now we have chat gpt 4 so so many artificial intelligence is really a threat so what we need to do if there is a threat we need to learn artificial intelligence because someone has to manage it isn't it so learn artificial intelligence and convert into an opportunity if there are opportunities okay the same thing can be a threat and opportunity an opportunity means artificial intelligence has entered into market right so it is an opportunity if you don't learn then becomes a threat isn't it so likewise each one of you each one of you must look within yourself find out which area you are good at which area you are good build it up okay you become okay more strong in that particular area some of the areas every one of us we cannot say that no in all areas we are very very good we can't say that correct so in some of the areas maybe that we are not that sound it is absolutely fine that means we need to work on it we need to develop okay those areas then comes your opportunities and threat okay as i said these are in the environment okay so threat you need to convert into opportunity opportunities if you can't take it up it becomes a threat correct so you need to open your eyes and ears and then you need to move on success formula okay there is no formula but still there are steps correct you have to goal what is your goal okay in life what you want to become strategy or long term planning okay what is your plan right suppose if you want to participate in olympic then what should be your plan you must play at the college level then you must play at the district level state level then you must represent you must play at country then you should represent country in the asian games then probably next step is you can go now uh, for olympic isn't it the strategy what is your step by step no strategy to reach to your goal action means right now you have to take action if you want to play in the college if you want to no become a winner in the college in some of the sports then you need to practice that action so every day you have to go to ground and start doing practice then if you do practice take action then you will get the result and over a period of time you can reach your goal okay so there is no formula for success just purposely i have mentioned success formula these are the steps and these steps are very very general and they will feedback okay always if some there therein comes the role of your teachers and the mentors or the seniors parents if you're not able to perform or do well in some of the actions so some of the steps maybe no we need to modify or restructure okay because 
by the time there will be a lot of changes in the environment so you have to uh, you know keep our eyes and ears open so that we can fine tune with that so that feedback is very very important at each step are we on the right step okay what are the difficulties to uh, know get what we're expecting in that particular steps and this continuous feedback helps us you know to modify our planning to modify our strategy to reach to our goal okay that's very very important success okay what does it mean select your goal unlock your imprisoned potential commit yourself to the plan chart your course expect problems stand firm on your commitment surrender everything to god what a fantastic narration okay on success okay the mantra for success examine your life exchange all your little options for one big dream expose yourself to successful people express your belief in your dreams write it down talk about it frequently that's what people say if you want to become something you should write it down you should just talk about it you should discuss with your friends so that remains always you know alive okay in your mind expect opposition to your dream you won't get success so easily you know the dream we can't so easily realize there is a lot of oppositions means here limitations or hindrances or maybe challenges that we need to overcome exercise all your effort and all of your energy toward the dream 100% efforts that's what is required okay that's what is required to become successful in life don't compromise it's your future it's your life and you have to take actions by yourself no one else can take action on your behalf they can only support you okay they can guide you they can show you the world but you have to put your step forward the journey is yours and each one of you if you put your best efforts give your 100% there is no hurdle okay no force in this world can stop you from achieving your dream or goal whatever you have in your mind extract every positive principle that you can from life exclude negative thinkers always positive vibes okay avoid negative thinkers negative thinking people exceed normal expectation exhibit an attitude that is confident that attitude is very important your everyday classroom interactions your presentations when you work in the lab when you meet outside okay when a guest faculty comes to your college what kind of attitude and behavior you exhibit okay you display in front of them okay that's very very important now attitude okay yeah you know very difficult to change but over a period of time okay that's why we need you know a learning we need to go, go for college okay there are a lot of mentors from the friend from the environment we learn a lot of new things isn't it now today you okay you join the college then after 6 months you just compare yourself okay the time you join the college and after 6 months okay what is the difference in yourself you will find out there will be so many positive changes positive changes in your personality okay explore every possible avenue extend a helping hand okay that's also a sense of humility a sense of belongingness okay extend helping hand to others those who are in the need that's very very important that's why today we say everyone should be msc okay what does it mean msc is not master degree i'm talking about it means m stands for mindfulness you should be jovial there should be smile on your face correct that's very very important s means your social quotient okay helping with the people living with the people being a part of the society okay being a part of the team then c for compassionate not sympathy empathy but compassionate if somebody needs help you should go and actually you should help that person okay because these all helps you okay if you give those who give more 
they get more in their life in some or other forms okay and that's absolutely true that's absolutely true okay so you should have this msc degree also all of you okay nothing can stop you if you have this then nothing can stop you to become successful or whatever dreams you have now everything boils down to time management see the lot of complaints right when your classes will go in full swing you will definitely you will have lot of pressure on the time okay so many presentations then assessment test okay assignment so many things you don't find time okay for other activities then you will have culture and so many other activities like cultural fest and all those stuff okay but managing time is very very critical you should be able to time is a resource is in a very scarce resource if you spend it will not get back money if you lose you can always earn but time no so you should be very very careful about how to manage time and man time no flies time flies it passes so fast today you join the program you will see after two years or three years you are completing going out to the campus it's so fast you can feel it correct but this time is gone you cannot get it back so you should be able to manage the time properly okay within the your classroom activities extracurricular co curricular activities okay everything you should be able to perform okay that's time management is very very critical stress management i said lot of stress also will be there because the work pressure the test okay the assignment there will be stress but don't take stress if you manage your time properly okay and if you have that msc degree okay you will not have any stress in your life correct right? all perform deliver if some day you are not able to deliver or not able to you know do the homework say to the teacher yes i could not do it i'll do it in the weekend sunday holiday you be there so this all about management no stress right no stress no fear okay don't depend on luck nothing is luck okay is about skill okay it's about skill if you have the skills if you learn the tools and techniques then you will become successful people will say that fellow is lucky is it not learn to lead and earn okay so everything see you are leading or becoming a leader or earning is depending on learning okay so you are learning no don't fear learn no luck skill okay then lead and earn so everything is the learning how fast you learn okay no stress correct no stress absolutely no don't take stress now this is very important uh, part that when we say that campus to corporate probably you no know, you will be given uh, okay you have to prepare a resume and uh, give it to your placement department or if you want to apply by yourself in that case also you know to send the resume correct because resume like you know is an individual in your absence it should speak to the potential recruiters who you are okay and uh, you must know the difference among no uh, biodata resume and cv biodata is the your just personal details your name age sex address father's name all this biodata okay personal details resume is little bit lengthy okay and cv is in more details cv for the people those who have work experience worked in no uh, two three companies having five to six years experience for them it is cv curriculum vitae resume may for you it's the resume you have your project work you have so many okay you have uh, come through a long journey okay of some 10 to 12 years academic journey starting from your standard one to till now pc or graduate level so you can mention how much marks you scored what are the extracurricular activities you have participated or olympiad or any other activities hobbies any project you have done any management fest you have own okay what special technical skills you have so everything you can write it down in the resume there are many formats today really microsoft okay windows also will get the ready made resume format but today uh, see uh, resume and cv generally you no know, some if i say some 7 8 years back people used to have cv of 30 40 100 pages 
resume five six pages today don't do that okay no one is bothered about okay go through uh, no uh, so many pages maximum it should be one page you should be able to highlight your key skills okay in one page and cv if it is cv maybe in the two pages resume one page is absolutely fine okay there is no problem tell me about yourself what do you want see some of the questions generally okay basic questions most of the interviews you'll find out tell me about yourself what do you want to work for us why did you choose your particular field what are your interests outside work where do you want to see yourself in the next five years what are your strengths areas of improvement see that SWOT analysis is very important now tell me about yourself okay this is a very common question you will find out as a you no know, icebreaker also in your orientation program okay so don't start saying that my name is so and so okay i am from so and so place i am from so and so so okay you can be very very creative yeah just tell that yes i am mr or miss so and so okay then you can talk about okay uh, your hobbies your passion or something you did uh, know uh, very unique things in your life okay so something you know creative you should be able to express yourself what do you want to work for us now for any company interview before going for interview you must what you should do you must go through the company website url okay go through the details how the company is doing last five years performance who are the board of directors everything and which role companies you know looking for what are the expectation from that role in the website you must go through why did you choose your particular field now if you say if someone takes you no know, uh, bca or someone takes commerce and management you should be able to justify or tell yourself why you have taken this particular strength okay so be prepared for that okay what do you want to see yourself in the next five years that shows your expectation okay how you want to grow what you want to look yourself now if you join a company and you want to progress that means you will work hard you will give your best and you will get the promotion in the appraisal and you will move up so that's a very very positive attitude but don't say something very very unexpected or very irrational thing five years you want to become ceo is it possible that's not possible what did your interest outside work so there you have to be very very careful your hobbies okay uh, outside your work okay what are your good ho hobbies and pastime that you must be able to so th these are the uh, no uh, preparations you need to do for uh, your campus uh, no interview or the placement interview whatever name you can call it how would you others describe you see some of the interview questions i'm not going into uh, depth but uh, i'm just uh, you know, taking you through uh, what specifically have you got to offer us okay that means why uh, we should select you okay do you prefer working with others or by yourself see your team building okay uh, that that they want to look at okay whether alone you're comfortable or you want to work in a team okay what interests you most about our company that means company details you must do thorough study okay why should we offer you this position see this is this question this is a very very common questions all interviews will get it what are your long-term career objectives what do you look for in a job what do you look in a job beside your salary package of course you want to learn isn't it you want to learn new skills you want to engage yourself give your best to the profile you are chosen for isn't it you want to bring in some kind of innovation in that role and move up in your career so some kind of preparation that's why that's why before your placement season starts you will have the placement training how do you respond to pressure and deadlines very important okay stress management what do you consider to be your biggest accomplishment to date that means your success you must be aware of many people they do a lot of wonders you know in their life but they are not really aware until someone says okay you are so good at this particular area okay then that fellow get uh, second up yes 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 i can do it but that introspection you must study yourself first okay you must know yourself that is the that's 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 why no you need to do the what swot analysis okay that's very very important what employers want in new hire now see some of the skill sets okay now these skill sets will never be outdated 
okay it will never be outdated always these skills will remain relevant your communication skills very very important your confidence honesty and integrity okay very important in the corporate world your interpersonal skills how do you communicate with your colleagues or team members analytical skills given a situation how you are able to analyze that particular situations and come out with the solutions again important i am not talking about no business intelligence or excel okay those are the technical analytical skills in general i am talking about correct flexibility and adaptability very important before this pandemic it was no there was no concept of work from home or work from anywhere you need to go to office for job but after that no it was two years was 100% work from home now today we have the blended mode okay three four days from home now three four days employees need to go to office by doing that company saves a lot of resources okay and the employees also they feel comfortable being at home okay so these are new this uh, blended uh, work mode is is all because of uh, this covid correct result driven okay that's very important kpi will be there key performance indicators will be there key result areas will be there whatever profile you are recruited you must be able to deliver okay so that's very very important see end of the day end of the day what happens what happens what is the company's turnover how much profit company makes if company profit increases then employees they give dividend isn't they give esops employee stock option plan okay you also grow if company grows you also grow if company doesn't do well then there will be no promotion there will be maybe salary cut like what happened during uh, no pandemic 50% salary 20% salary likewise it was there okay so result driven output must be there at the end of the day you must be able to deliver some of the books some of the books all of you know must read the seven habits of highly effective people and it will be there in your library also okay all the libraries they have these are very good books and uh, authors they have shared their life experience in a book okay maybe 70 80 years of experience and you can read it in 2 hours time okay that's what you no know, reading book nothing can substitute reading books awaken the giant within anthony robbins see you at the top zig ziglar the secret ronda bryan goals brent tracy the success principles jack canfield think and grow rich napoleon hill how to win friends and influence people del carney the alchemist very popular the polo coelho then feel the fear and do it anyway susan zephers so these are some of the top books recommended books which will give you insights about how you need to prepare how you need to build your confidence how you can have self confidence how you can overcome barriers okay how you can realize your goals okay how you can grow in your life okay growth hacks okay how you can win people make friendship build a strong network that's what people say today your network is your net worth okay the kind of people the network you develop that tells about you okay the alchemist feel the fear and do it anyway okay so these are some of the very very no see the campus versus corporate campus means student correct corporate means employee isn't it now see the difference how it is student exams are the major qualifying criteria employee each day is important each day target will be there for student in the campus maximum marks minimum marks to pass no problem corporate no minimum always you need to excellence survival of fitness student maximum effort can fetch 100% marks employee maximum effort increment elevation there is no limit to it you can get 200 300% hikes 
स्टूडेंट आवर्स पर डे इज लिमिटेड एम्प्लॉय योर प्रोडक्टिविटी इज इम्पॉर्टेंट ओके मे बी इन टू आवर्स यू कैन परफॉर्म द जॉब मे बी समाइम यू टू स्लॉग ओके प्रोडक्टिविटी अप टू यू एंड यू डोंट एफेक्ट अदर्स हाईली इंटरलिंक्ड स्टूडेंट मेमोराइज एंड रिमेंबर एंड एम्प्लॉय अंडरस्टैंड रिमेंबर यूटिलाइज एप्लीकेशन पर फॉर ए स्टूडेंट प्रैक्टिकल ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एन एम्प्लॉय प्रैक्टिकल हंड्रेड परसेंट बिकॉज दे आर यू नीड टू परफॉर्म नो यू नीड टू डू द जॉब ओके ऑन द ग्राउंड सो इट इज हंड्रेड परसेंट प्रैक्टिकल सो दिस 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 विल गिव यू गुड आइडिया अबाउट द एक्सपेक्टेशन ऑफ द कॉर्पोरेट फ्रॉम द स्टूडेंट्स ओके एंड हाउ यू नीड टू बिल्ड अप योर सेल्फ ओके सो फुल क्लैरिटी यू कैन हैव फ्रॉम दिस ओके टेबल इट सेल्फ नाउ सो मेनी अट्रैक्टिव इंडस्ट्रीज नाउ वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द करियर ओके टूडे एज आई सेट इन द बिगिनिंग इट सेल्फ ओके टूडे दर इज ए होल वर्ल्ड अपॉर्चुनिटीज financial services telecommunication hospital education so many okay each sector each industry segments there is a huge growth today especially during covid there were some challenges but post covid today okay all sectors are doing so well there is huge okay growth recruitments are happening okay and uh, if you really you uh, know possess the skill sets then nothing can stop you correct applications how do you get a job if it is a campus placement no problem you submit your resume to your placement uh, officer or director whoever is in charge now they will process it but if you want to apply outside in that case you need to build your resume okay the art of building resume okay there are so many tips and techniques okay uh, that always we can take uh, in a different session um then uh, personalized letter sharing or aspiration letter should be simple then you have to give a covering letter isn't it it's a simple covering letter your application must go with a covering letter okay wherein you will address to whom uh, no uh, you are sending your uh, resume for which job okay is a very simple format i have just developed and given you i'm sure that all of you must be know about now types of resume different types of resume okay now one resume you cannot send for 10 different types of job okay one standard resume you can have then based on the job profile and the industry segment where you are applying for the job you need to little bit customize tailor made okay so hr resume management resume finance resume all the resume it will differ single resume cannot serve all the purpose you have to little bit customize it okay then there are no resume building tips okay so many things so many so many things are there there is a lot of innovations okay and that's what i said that kind of job role and job descriptions company is looking for okay you have to do a correct mapping with your skill sets then you have to build up the resume resume should sell you before you do okay that's what i said in your absence resume represent you okay resume should sell you before you do it should be fresh and unfolded it should be prepared by you don't just tell somebody else to prepare in that case if there are some questions asked you won't be able to reply okay it should be very very thorough it should be simple so no more than two pages today people say make it one page only not two pages also you must know each word in your resume okay don't copy paste from some resume from the internet each word each sentence whatever you mention in the resume must be aware of rich words will not impress rather irritated simple words use simple words if you mail it be it in ms word format it is open in all computers do not use tab tables or macros okay not needed latest fast avoid personal information latest fast means at present you are doing bca so bca degree bca project then you should go to puc like that latest to the okay uh, past percentage numbers get attention for a student percentage number get attention okay you must mention that okay highlight your achievement which are the areas you have done good general format of resume this is there is no exact format 
you can always do a lot of creativity a lot of okay but normal name age address your objective relevant experience your experience that makes very difference for a student experience will be your project work isn't it that's your industry experience relevant industry relevant experience uh, okay then mini project whatever you have uh, you have done as a part of your curriculum educational qualification additional and technical qualification you have your activities your cultural faced management faced okay whatever activities you participated your other skill sets any technical skills other skills you have okay your hobbies probably some of the hobbies you can mention under activities then your signature name and maybe one declaration no i have i declared that the above information is uh, correct to the best of my knowledge that's that's that that's that's a very common format generally we use it see normal just have given uh you no know, one simple how it looks like simple one bit symbolism okay relevant experience i have just left it blank so it should look like that okay interview insights okay there are a lot of things are there 40 percent of recognitions are taken on your personality that's what i said the way you dress or way you present yourself your talking okay your confidence level that makes a lot of difference i'm just going a little bit uh, you know fast because uh, these things we can take it up uh, in the qa session okay brief about yourself okay that's about how if uh, whenever you go for any interview the first question will be can you tell me something about yourself or introduce yourself now here comes how you should introduce yourself simple some of the just uh, you know points i mentioned your hobbies strengths skills achievements don't talk about your personal import uh, those things are not required do's and don'ts what is important what you should avoid okay what is important professional dressing light plain full hand shirt for the boys girls plain soft looking dresses right welcome here carry a fresh copy of resume you must be there in the interview at least 30 minutes before okay so there are some common uh, i am sure this will be taken up later on okay later on okay when your placement starts there will be training on this okay, to groom you okay corporate etiquettes and uh, corporate grooming okay is a part of a placement uh, process along with the placement training wherein these tips should be given to you so that you are no better prepared okay in the interview and your chances of getting selected uh, you no know, is higher tips for your first day at a new job suppose you got the job you have successfully completed your you uh, know program academic program you got placed in your campus placement you got a new job okay then what would be your first day at a new job dress for success get linked in with the others set up your space lay low and listen okay listen to them understand nail down names note down the names of others take a breather you got a job relax thank the office assistant give yourself a break tips for your first month that new job okay this is this is just the learning the day one day two day three okay every day is a new learning when you grow with the company okay so you will find out that a lot of new things to learn and you are you know getting matured day by day it's steep jobs your time is limited so don't waste it leaving someone else's life don't be trapped by dogma means principle which is living with the results of other people's thinking don't let the noise of others opinions drown you out your own inner voice and most important have the courage to follow your heart and intuition they somehow already know what you truly want to become everything else is secondary that's the steep jobs so this is something about okay your journey okay your journey from corporate to campus to corporate okay so this is briefly you no know, i tried to explain that's what initially also i said that your academic journey and corporate journey is not two separate journey or two separate route okay these are parallel it goes hands in hand okay along with your academic okay in your class in your co-curricular extracurricular whatever activities 
okay you uh, you, you you are asked to do in the college you must do it seriously because those are the learnings okay those are the learnings that will help you in the placement later on when you go to the final semester okay so that's very very important i'm sure that uh, you no know, uh, you got some insight or some exposure or i'm able to uncover okay the challenges uh, what corporate world they have and uh, they want you they want your service see companies they come to campus for recruitment okay because they send their hr and expert uh, technical ex expertise people okay and all the day they be there okay so that's a kind of expenses for the company okay company will not do they come for recruitment okay they come for selection but what happens uh, see when they interview the candidates they don't find you no know, the good candidate whom they can you know see generally whenever any company recruit okay and give salary they expect you no know, three times four times you know uh, of that salary they spend that the productivity that person should be able to give okay that's the real life how companies they work okay so you should be very very efficient okay you should be very very efficient you should know your job that's very very important so that's about uh, you know uh, briefly the journey from campus to corporate okay now okay i just uh, give another uh, you no know, 15 20 minutes time we can take few questions otherwise you know because last one hour around one or 10 minutes i spoke on the subject i need uh, you no know, questions from your side please now to you, to all of you, please ask questions. Students, if you have any questions, you can please ask. Please ask questions, whatever comes in your mind. You must feel free to ask questions, okay? It's an art asking question itself is an art okay don't think that no you may be wrong or right that is not needed whatever Nihari, comes, yes Nihari yes, Kagor, yes please questions niharika please ask hello sir good evening good evening niharika please so my question is that if we are not comfortable with the things we can take a break no, no, no. What kind of break? Please tell me. That if we are doing the things as not going as what we planned, mm -hmm. we can take at that time a break. No, 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 no. no, no. See, exactly. No, your question is very relevant and very good question. See, many a time or I'll say it is common with all of us. Whatever we expect, whatever way we want the things in our life the same way it does not happen okay it's just very common then what lesson we can learn from that what lesson we can learn from that that number one we have to change our approach okay or you have to change our planning number one number two we should not expect more from life okay number three we should be able to work harder that means we are not giving our 100%. We should give our 200%. Okay. So that we get what we expect. There is no question of break. It's a process. Continuous journey. Kaizen. That's what there was one word mentioned in one of the PPTs. Kaizen approach. Continuous. And learning is a continuous process. But many a time we will see that. No. Suppose I am giving one hypothetical case. I am a student of uh, no BCA program. Okay. I could not pass in one or two subjects that means what i'll give a break no if supplementary option is there i'll work hard i'll ensure that supplementary exam i do well and in the next semester i don't get any backlog okay any hurdles any kind of limitations that remind us that we should give our 100 percent and we should work hard okay that is the life lesson that every one of us in our life we have not got everything what we expected in a very very smooth way 
okay so this is ups and downs you know you know that famous uh, you know you'll find out that ratan tata okay that famous quote okay uh, that eco ecg okay we'll see that you know it goes up and down that means you are alive okay the time it is straight means <laughs> okay so very good good question yarika very good huh? work hard no substitute for hard work work hard give your 100% yes, yes. that's it result will follow see don't work for the result okay see anyhow result will come if you give your 100% give your best result has to come okay so you work on the fast part the many people what they do they focus on the last part and they forget about the journey the fast part that they have to work okay good question very good very relevant all the best niarika thank you sir hmm very nice next question please next question you ask all of you must ask one on question okay no exemption i'm sure there will be so many questions in your mind feel free to ask see this is one of the quality you must develop if today you don't ask okay leave it okay but in in, in all programs whatever is organized by your college okay wherein you meet any expert lecturer or outside visiting faculty coming okay you must ask questions your doubts whatever you have in your mind you must put it across they will like it okay because that's this is collaborative learning see the question niharika asked so fantastic simple questions but it is so in depth okay so no i also feel yes for me also there are so many challenges i must give 200% sometimes also i become little bit at low spirit okay sometimes i think some way something didn't work in my favor i get little bit upset okay now the her question remind me okay i should i should not get upset okay so this learning is very important why i say that all of you must ask questions student student can ask lot of questions about their career yeah anyone is having questions you can ask lot of questions too sir regarding your career ask questions feel free okay feel free ask questions no problem what is that just open up anybody from the student side <laughs> i think <laughs> <laughs> uh, no problem uh, yeah. they are listening probably no i mean next we, they need to open up a little bit and uh, yeah niharika niharika raised hand yes sir i was thinking that uh, being quiet is better or uh, <laughs> <laughs> see that is another okay uh, very good question niharika See, I'll tell you. Actually, sir, uh, I have habit of like uh, I'll answer the all. Let it be wrong or right. Very good, very good, wonderful. See the learning process. Okay, in the learning process, what is the purpose of education or teaching? We say that to create inquisitiveness. That means inquiries. Okay, inquiries in the mind of the student. Okay, until unless. you ask questions you cannot clarify your doubts you may think that something is correct but that may not be correct if you ha have that kind of dilemma so in that case always it is better to get it corrected okay or you can always initiate a discussion don't be silent there are times when you need to be silent to listen someone carefully to absorb the idea to understand in your mind that silent is very powerful that silent yes, is very powerful i am not talking about that side yes, correct i am yes, talking sir. about when there is an opportunity for you to ask questions is an open platform yes, qa session and you have so many things in your mind why yes, students are not asking questions okay now here silence is not needed isn't it niarika here silence yes, is not needed you should open up yes, if not in english in hindi or kannada or in your regional mm -hmm. language someone can mm -hmm. no always okay 
translate it. Yes, what is the language should not be a barrier in the learning process. Yes, sir. yes next questions. Anyone? Next, please. No question. I think, ma'am, there is no question. So yes, once sir. again, uh, no from my side. Uh, see, this is uh, very limited. Uh, no, uh, the lecture is limited by the time and uh, online session for a very prolonged period also sometimes you no know, create some kind of disengagement okay. so one hour 15 20 one and a half hour is a very decent and good time slot to get the attention okay and uh, thank you to uh, dr ranjit sarma sir uh, you know, for the wonderful opportunity to interact with all of you uh, indeed fantastic the first day questions were more Okay, today only Niharika asked questions, but the day one it was so many students they asked questions. And thank you to uh, Rahi ma'am for uh, wonderfully hosting the session. Okay, uh, the, <laughs> being master of ceremony is the toughest job. Okay, and ma'am did it so well. Uh, thank you to the management and the CEO, okay, of Ebenezer Group, okay, my good friend. And uh, thank you all the students. Uh, may God bless you all. Uh, do well in your life. If opportunity comes, uh, definitely, you know, I'll physically come and interact with all of you one day. Yes, yes, sir. <laughs> yes sir. We'll love to uh, meet, you, meet you physically in our college. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you so much, sir. Yeah, you can give the vote of thanks as a part of uh, no formality. Then we'll close it. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir, for being here despite your uh, busy schedule. And uh, we are again looking forward for your physical presence in the campus. Uh, thank you, Ranjit, sir, for organizing this webinar. Thank you. And I also thank you all the students for being present here and also the IT system uh, people for uh, coordinating with us on this webinar. Uh, this is the end of the uh, webinar. Uh, have a nice day. Thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank, you thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.